I don't know how well this is going to work camera-wise, but we'll find out. Thank you. 
this is now. Let's see what happens. Let's see if the wrong one. Shoes. Hey, you got to see it run a little bit. So let me grab the camera here. Whoops, wrong way. This hose is the PCV which is running into this bottle here because it's spraying out oil because I gave it too much oil because I didn't know how much oil to add when it's being used horizontally. But yeah, it hasn't locked up yet or anything and it turns over really smoothly so I don't think there are any problems. And yeah, I sprayed oil all over the place here before I got that hose, so there we go. <laughs> but yeah, it runs. And this is a homemade extra flywheel because it didn't quite want to run with the original flywheel. It almost did though, but not quite. So I added an additional flywheel here, which happened to fit perfectly on the blade arbor, which means it is perfectly balanced. But yeah, I don't know why it doesn't want to start anymore, but do we have spark? I hope so. But yeah, this carburetor could be clogged up with crap. <laughs> this carburetor is actually a piece of crap and I don't really want to use it because it's really shitty. It doesn't have a choke. You're meant to use one of those pumper things, but that thing is long gone, so I have to just make my own choke with this random piece of aluminum here and it doesn't want to run without a choke, so... That kind of tells me that this carburetor is not doing that well. It's up to temperature at least, so that's good. Guess we can retorque the head now if we want to. It's always good to run the engine through a few thermal cycles before you torque the head for the final time. But yeah, it runs, and it runs pretty well. It shakes a bit, but yeah ratchet strap to hold it down really isn't that great oh no there's oil coming here this thing is leaking oil everywhere <laughs> that's not good